For this next task, you're going to get an opportunity to study the digestive system in order to practice your study skills. So I'm going to, uh, in the task bar, you're going to have a link to a, um, um, a, f um, a printout of uh, the digestive system, all the different processes in the digestive system. And what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you study that, and then I'm going to have you complete a Google form uh, to uh, test your knowledge. Again, not graded, this is just our study skills practice, but you can test yourself and see how well you do by taking a form after you study the, uh, the digestive processes. So, um, but in this particular activity, um, who, let me ask you a, a hypothetical question as they call it. One of those where I'm not looking for a direct answer. This is one of those, I'm going to think about this for a second, kind of the questions. Um, who's ever waited until the night before the test, be, to, in order, before you start studying for the test? You know, for whatever reason, you put it off and you put it off and then suddenly, oh, it's the night before the test and they have to study. So, you know, that happens. Um, too often, students put too much emphasis on cramming right before a test. Um, instead of spending time to learn the material all along. And you've probably discovered that it's very difficult to try to learn all the material the night before the test. And even if you do manage to remember everything, you know, there's no way you're actually going to remember that, you know, a week later because you're cramming. You're just trying to memorize everything instead of actually trying to commit it to your long-term memory. Um, so if there's one message that I want you to take away today would be this getting better grades just isn't about how you study for a test it's about what you do to learn the material the rest of the time how you prepare for class participate in class and review what you learn in class so I really want to emphasize one of these points reviewing your notes uh, many students wait to look at their class notes until they're studying for a test but when you wait this long sometimes your notes don't make any sense anymore um, you know, that's why it's so important to re review your notes as you go. You don't need to spend a lot of time doing this, just like 15 minutes or so after class, to review that information while it's still fresh in your mind, and that way it stays with you for a longer period of time. When you look back at your notes, focus on one topic at a time. As you read through your notes, underline the terms or ideas you think are the most important and then try to summarize the main point in your own words. That way, when you can put that in your own words, then you know that you have a really good understanding of what it was you studied. <clears throat> so, uh, your notes are just a starting point. When you review your notes, add question marks in places where information is missing or you just don't understand. When your notes aren't clear, reread the textbook or ask someone for help. Okay, so let's see how this works out. So the next task I'm going to have you do, I'm going to um, have you um, review the notes of the digestive system. And then there's um, a form that is titled, let me look it up really quick, it's titled Review Your Notes, and that'll be in the task. Um, so take a moment and see if you can review the digestive system, and then take some time and see if you can complete that form. Um, and we'll see how we go. So, <clears throat> so there you go. So see how you do with that one.